So I free dove today. So uh, a lot of people maybe have heard of free diving and they have questions about it. So free diving is breath holding. And it's really different than scuba because you're you're not you're taking the breath from the air and just going down and then coming back up. And in some cases, you know, some people go hundreds of feet. Um, I can do about a hundred feet maximum, and. Uh, uh, in the river, like I said, it gets pretty dark about 50 feet, so I don't like to go too much deeper than that. There's fish nets or stuff out here. But um, there's a different technique than there is uh, scuba diving. So one of the big technique differences is um, you're very efficient when you free dive. I mean, I'm wearing just a wetsuit, some weights. Um, maybe I'll show you. So I've got about uh, four pounds of weights here. And then this is a GoPro mount, a GoPro mount that I made that um, sometimes I use. Then of course you have to have a knife because there's just stuff in the river. Um, so basically I'm just wearing that and a mask and a snorkel. Um, I breathe up on the surface, meaning I try to lower my CO2 in my lungs by relaxing on the surface and then going down. So scuba diving, you rarely go head first. You kind of descend like a parachuter, you know, like a free faller. Um, but in free diving, it's much more efficient because, uh, the fins, the fins are super efficient. And then there's just not a lot of drag. There's no tanks. There's no stuff hanging off of me. Um, people who are really serious about free diving, they even tuck in their zippers. Like it's really a serious uh, concern, drag. So, with a very little effort, you can kind of kick and start going down. And once you start going down, you can uh, one, once you pass the negative buoyancy point, which is about 30 feet, um, then you start just going down. Like so, between 30 and 50, or 30 and 60, I'm just like falling basically, and uh, with my head down, usually upside, kind of upside down on the wall and uh, super efficient. So the fins are much longer than you'd see scuba fins, right? So this is about a three foot fin. Um, and you wouldn't wear those with scuba gear because it's too much effort. You, you know, if you think about it like bicycle gears, right? Um, you know, for, for going up hills, you want to get a low gear, so you're, you're pedaling more, but you're going less on each pedal. These are like being in 20th gear. So with all the drag on scuba and, and the position of your head and everything like that, it's really just a waste to try to kick so hard with these fins. It's better to have shorter fins that, are, that push you forward a little bit more um, with more power basically but not much speed these give you a lot of speed I can I generally sometimes I do a butterfly uh, scissor kick but a lot of times I actually do uh, like an undulating wave in my body especially when I'm coming up I just give it just a slight kick starting with the chest and working its way down and it's amazing how how that momentum carries it's a dangerous sport for sure uh, especially here in the river where there's a lot of stuff um, <clears throat> But, uh, but I like it, it's very internal, meaning I'm really with my body on this. I'm not just like putting on a, a, an outfit and then exploring into the world. I'm like not only in that other world, but I'm also in a different world than me and I'm kind of pushing myself and I'm kind of interacting with my own body in a very different way and the environment. So it's really gratifying in a way that is, it would be hard to understand if I didn't understand it, but my best, like, best thing I can do is tell you. Um, so anyway, that's what my experience was today out in the Benjamin deep hole wasn't that deep apparently the hole won the day I've heard there's a lot of stuff down there so um, maybe I'll throw on some scuba gear and take it another uh, 20 30 feet deeper all right we're gonna go down this wall and uh, go down about 50 feet or so
hope you enjoy that. A couple things I found. Well, I found a bunch of stuff. I didn't bring most of it up. A lot of bottles, ceramics. Um, I did find a couple weights. Some pyramid weight and a, a pear weight. Pretty, pretty heavy ones. And then I found this nice coffee cup, which I really kind of like the pattern on the inside of that. There's a little bit of a pattern on the outside too. So, who knows how old that is. Probably not that old, but it was fun. Thank you.